Hey, Barb Miller here with Cycling Strong. So you guys know we're doing a bunch of different videos on trainers, and right now we're talking direct drives. So we decided to come over and look at the new unit here with Tyler, and he's gonna walk us through all the cool stuff going on. Talk about this new, innovative, direct drive trainer. All right, so what we have here is the new Hammer Cyclops trainer. So it's direct drive. The biggest thing for me about it, since I'm an off-roadie versus a roadie, is it has true through axle compatibility. So the bikes that I really, really enjoy are my cross bike as well as my mountain bike. So both of those have 142 through axles. So we'll do everything from 130 quick release, 135 quick release, 142 through axle, as well as 148 boost through axle right out of the box. All you need is a cone wrench or even a crescent wrench to change out those end caps. Also, we're gonna be SRAM XD compatible. So we're truly compatible with everything out there. All you need to do is use your own through axle or quick release out of the box. Big highlights of the product. For our hammer, we do 2000 max watts at 20 miles per hour. Our 20 pound flywheel gives you the best spin up and spin down as far as inertia. So as soon as you spin this up, if it's in ergometer mode, it's gonna keep cruising all day where you wish you actually had a rear wheel so you could slow it down and get your intervals going again. We have a and Plus and Bluetooth right out of the box and we're very third party friendly. So you, you name the app, whether it be Trainer Road, Swift, Cyclops Virtual Training, which I'm obviously biased towards because it's our superior product, but anything you can name, we're very third party friendly because we recognize that while we are the best, some people may want to use other things. <laughs> Our actual unit itself, also behind the cassette, has an induction fan similar to a turbo in a car that pulls air in and vents it out of the side of our aluminum casting here. So it keeps the unit much cooler at higher operating temperatures. Then, we also have a very easy to use lever system that puts our stability feet inside and conveniently tucks our leveling block underneath. Our leveling block is really not a leveling block, but more of a stability block, and also houses our disc brake spacer. And like I mentioned, being an off-roadie, yeah, you don't want your friends coming up and squeezing that brake when there's right. nothing in there, and then suddenly you have to reset your pistons. Also, our unit is very, very stable because you'll notice the legs are centered right underneath the actual saddle. So it's underneath the rider's center of gravity. Some of our stability testing involves some people with 700 millimeter bars on their mountain bikes and unlocking the fork and doing a cross country style start. From that standpoint, this we weren't able to tip over at all, but some of our competitors with that worst case scenario, we were able to tip over and we had a lot of fun laughs in the office <laughs> that went on Snapchat right away. The unit itself is gonna cost $1199.99 MSRP and is gonna be available for release this fall. Right, Absolutely so stellar. Answer the real technical things of how quiet is it, how easy is it to travel with, all that kind of stuff. Travel, if you're going on a plane, you're gonna to wanna to prepare for an oversized baggage fee because it is 48 pounds. But with the weight of it, our handle is centered right in the middle. So when you pick it up, it's just like picking up a suitcase at work, just loaded with gold bricks because it's the gold standard. <laughs> Uh, but then on top of that, the specs itself, it runs about 65 to 68 decibels. That kind of depends on the chain as well as the cassette you have. That can throw it up just a little bit, but absolutely just as quiet as our competitors. And as far as the actual operating temperatures, uh, we put ours through rigorous testing through 200 hours of constant wear, going from 100 watts all the way up to 500 watts again and again through those 200 hours over the course of five minutes at a time. Okay. Uh, we were never able to burn it out, and because of that induction fan that I mentioned earlier, we were running far, far cooler than our competitors. Okay, and what is the warranty on it? The warranty is gonna be a two-year global warranty okay. for the electronics, the leveling, actual feet and all of that, and lifetime. Awesome. Very cool. Anything else that we have not asked that we should be asking when we're looking at trainers right now? So let's say I'm going into the bike shop. What's the top three things I should be asking on this type of a direct drive trainer today that I'm not asking? You see what I'm getting at? Can we I don't ride know it? What we don't know. Can I ride it? Can I ride it? Can I ride it? 
Uh, since I've been testing this unit since about January, so for the past nine months, uh, I'm a total roller snob. Uh, my road bike, cross bike, all that, I ride on the rollers because I prefer it. It has actually ruined every other trainer for me because of how seamless the actual resistance is. If you close your eyes and you're riding on a course, there's no steps or anything like that. You suddenly go, why is the, why is the resistance going up? And you open your eyes and you look at your virtual training or your Zwift, and all of a sudden you realize it's because I'm on a 6% grade and you never realize it was going up. And because of the fact that we actually have gauges on all of our virtual training to let us know the percent grade, that's a definite benefit because you can't tell when you're going up with this unit because of how quick and snappy it is. All right, so the other big question we get asked all the time is accuracy. How accurate is it? Accuracy is gonna be 2%. Uh, so because of the fact that we use an electromagnetic resistance unit and no longer strain gauges, we actually are able to very, very easily calculate power output on it because it's very simple math that's built into the processing unit of the actual uh, hammer itself. Okay, all right. Well, uh, thanks for your time. I think it's an amazing unit. So uh, Cameron, why don't you go ahead and jump on it. Let's uh, get riding. <laughs> you guys get out there. Have a great time. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below. These guys will have a link to the video. They'll be able to give you the input that you're looking for. Get on the blog itself, start uh, asking questions there. But most of all, get out there, keep riding your bike and cycling strong. Thanks again for your time. Thanks Appreciate a bunch, it, man. man.